Hello, friends. My name is Fletcher Williams, and this is my noble pooch, Rosie the Reading Hound. We'd like to welcome you here to the Minnesota Historical Society, located in, you guessed it, the great state of Minnesota. Through the magic of the internet, we are now going to bring a famous Minnesotan from the past to the present. <laughs> well, sort of. The famous Minnesotan is Maud Hart Lovelace, author of the well-known Betsy Tasty books and many other books as well. Today, she has a story for you, some questions, and at the end of her visit, she is going to talk about the exciting Myra Maud Hart Lovelace Book Awards. <laughs> so without further ado, let's give a round of applause for Maud Hart Lovelace. Put your paws together, Rosie. Put your paws together. Oh, that was wonderful. Such a fantastic ending to a book. Oh, I hope that you have had such feelings after you have finished a book. Well, hello everyone. My name is Maud Hart Lovelace. Thank you, Fletcher and Rosie, for introducing me. Author, writer of many books in the Betsy Tacey, probably my most famous books. Um, I am thrilled that the Minnesota librarians are honoring me every year with the Minnesota Youth Reading Awards. What better award could an author have? And you know that you're part of that too. Every year you can read the books that the librarians have nominated. And if you read at least three of them or listen to them, you are eligible to vote on your favorite book. And this year, the voting has been extended to June 15th. And if you're in grades three to five, there are 10 books that you can read. Grades six to eight, there are 10 books that you can choose from. Well, I don't know about you, but I know that these times have been hard, haven't they? Having to stay at home to be safe from the coronavirus, I, I hear. And sometimes maybe your apartment or your house or your room can feel so small and, oh, and you feel like you just have to get away. Do, do you feel that way sometimes? Well, this rectangle, these books can help solve that problem, can't they? Because with a book, we know that we can move forward or backwards in time, that we can go to different countries and meet new friends and people from all over the world. In this year's nominees, you can meet people from Pakistan and India Cuba, Syria, Germany, oh, it's wonderful. You can solve mysteries, even with the FBI, and you can help save some of your favorite places. And I found that books even help give us courage to face bullies, mm -hmm. or to help right wrongs that are happening in our communities. Oh, or help us get out of messes that we ourselves have created. I certainly have created a lot of messes. But most important, I think, books can help us be ourselves and find out who we are. At least I found that with my books. And I have wondered, where do you like to read? Do you have a favorite place you like to read? Could, could you tell me? Oh, those are, oh, I love those places. And I even heard a few of you talk about reading under your covers at night with the flashlight. Yeah, that's probably one of the best places. But I had a favorite place when I was growing up. Would you like to see? Here is a drawing by Lois Lenski, the illustrator of my first four Betsy Tacey books. This is the big hill where I grew up in Mankato, Minnesota. And let me see, here's my house. It was a yellow house right here on the dirt road. And behind my house is the maple tree. 
I would climb my maple tree and read so many books. And it's also where I started my writing career up in that maple tree. And in the winter time, since it's Minnesota, I certainly couldn't read there in the winter. I would find a window and read by the window where I could see my maple tree. And then I would take off into all the different places and meet all the different people. I'm glad you're doing that too. And if you are wanting to participate in the book awards this year, please look at the list that's provided in something very fancy. I know it wasn't during my time, but I think it's called YouTube. And there's a tiny little movie or video under the Maud Hart Lovelace Award nominees for 2019 and 2020, and it lists all the different books. And if you've already read all the books for this year's list, you can go to the Myra website and find the list for the 2020-2021 books. <sighs> well, I wish you all so well during this time of staying home to be safe. And may you all find a book that you love to read. And after you finish that book, start another and another and another. It's been wonderful to spend this time with you. Thank you all and stay well. Bye-bye now. Thank you, Maude. And we'd like to encourage all of you to go out there and read those books nominated by the Myra Maude Hart Lovelace Book Awards. We know that it's a little challenging now during these days of staying home, but remember, you can always get these books at your bookstore websites online, uh, curbside pickups at your local library, or you can download them through ebook. Finally, since we're so close to Maud's birthday, I think it would be fitting to sing happy birthday to Maud before we finish. <clears throat> Ready? <clears throat> me, 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 me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, a little louder to you. Happy birthday with feeling, dear Maud. Happy birthday to you. So long, be well, take care, and go out there and read, read, read. This is Fletcher and Rosie signing off. Would you like some cupcake? No? You only like chocolate. Okay. <laughs>